A much calmer evening compared to yesterday, Ben, and you tracked a hailstorm northwest of the city. How unusual are storms that produce large hail here in central Ohio? Yeah, Kyle, actually springtime is when we are most likely to experience an event like yesterday, large hail, because the air loft is still pretty cold coming after the end of winter where the atmosphere is slower to warm at higher levels where the hail forms. I received a number of videos and pictures from viewers, as you can see, capturing the hail. So here's what uh, the isolated uh, strong storm looked like. Prominent hail core on live Viper radar Friday afternoon during the rush hour. The National Weather Service issued severe thunderstorm warnings for large hail, which means at least one inch in diameter. You can see the track through southwest and central Delaware County coming out of Union County. From these videos and pictures, you can see the hail coming down in sheets in the core of the storm. The diameter varying from penny sized up to quarter and half dollar sized and even an inch and a quarter in diameter. Uh, that kind of hail can leave a small mark on vehicles and, and do a bit of property damage. Now, hail with thunderstorms on a warm afternoon, hard and pointy, much different in texture compared to soft hail, grapple that we saw on Monday. I took this video in Hilliard of a squall that had a little bit of everything, rain, grapple, snow, but that was an unseasonably cold day like winter. Grapple forms when snow aloft encounters liquid droplets in the lower part of the cloud where it's just a bit milder and water freezes on contact, making those little round ping pong balls uh, that are like snow pellets. So here's how all this works graphically. Built a graphic to show you hail formation begins on a warm day with very tall thunderstorms and a very strong updraft. Raindrops reach the cold upper atmosphere, freezing into ice crystals, but then they have to stay aloft, suspended uh, by some strong winds, and that allows additional water droplets to collide with and freeze on that growing ball or lump of ice. Eventually, those lumps of ice become heavy enough to get tossed out of the thunderstorm or if the updraft weakens and then hail can cover the ground and in some cases in rare cases be up to baseball or softball sized when you get into the two three or four inch diameter category.